Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a polka dot pattern in Adobe Illustrator. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a new file. For this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 600 pixels by 600 pixels. And then we'll go ahead and create. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a ellipse. We're going to access the ellipse tool. The keyboard shortcut for this is L. To create my circle, I'm going to hold down the Shift and Option key, and that just allows me to pull it out from the center. Currently, we have white set as our foreground color, so let's go ahead and select black for our fill color, and then we will change our stroke to no stroke, and then we'll just get back to our fill color here. Using the selection tool here, we will just drag it to the center of our canvas. And then to create our polka dot pattern, we are going to use the uh, pattern tool here in Illustrator. To do that, you're going to go to Object, Pattern, and select Make. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here. And then I'm going to move these pattern options here so we can see them. So here we see our circle and it has been repeated with the pattern tool. Here in the pattern options, um, if you do not see your pattern options, just go to window and select pattern options here. Here you can give your pattern a name and then here we have tile type. So if we hit the drop down menu, you'll see there are five different options when it comes to creating a pattern type. Um, currently we have it set to grid. This is the most standard um, type of pattern, kind of a block style pattern. There's also a brick by row. Uh, with this style we can create a polka dot style pattern. A brick by column also creates another polka dot pat style pattern. In this case they are tiled by a column with an offset. And for both brick by row and brick by column, you can change the offset. So if you want it to be less, um, you can kind of play around with how much offset you get. Typically, standard is half offset here. And then there's also a hex by column. And then if we bring up our width and height, we can expand it out here to also get a polka dot style a repeat. But in this case, we see this kind of hexagon shape where it repeats um, that way. And then similarly, we have our hex by row here as well. So for this polka dot pattern, I'm going to go ahead and choose a brick by row. And then we're going to leave it at a half offset here. Under width and height, you can play with the dimensions of how uh, far apart or um, close together your uh, repeat is. If you have the lock turned on, they'll change together. Um, you can always unlock it here and then it will, um, you can alter the width um, independently of the height. Uh, when you click Save Tile to Art, the um, tile will um, take the size of your art. So. If we were to toggle it, we can see that it will scale back down to the size of our circle. And then move tile with art. So if we were to move this circle around, the t our pattern tile will move with it here as well. So we'll go ahead and tile both of those off. And then another way to um, set your tile is you can click on this icon here. It's called the pattern tile tool. And with it, you can adjust the size of your tile here um, by grabbing onto the handles and extending it out here. And that's one way you can adjust the, um, the size of your tile here. As we move down the pattern options here, we have a overlap option here. Um, if your uh, circle is overlapping, you can decide on um, how it overlaps each other. And then here under copies, you can select how much um, copies you want to repeat. And you can uh, choose to dim them 
lots of copies if you want them a little bit less visible there you can uh, do that there as well so let's go ahead and bring that back up to 100 percent and then i'm going to bring these in let's try 300 and 300 here to kind of size it to our artboard and then just accessing my selection tool we'll just go ahead and center it back in the middle here and once you have uh, decided on your pattern options you can go ahead and click done and then what you'll notice here in the swatch panel is we now see a um, a little swatch of our pattern here so let's go ahead and just create a um, shape so I'm going to zoom out here we'll just try the ellipse tool here and just drag out an ellipse here and then uh, with our fill selected here let's go ahead and pick that pattern fill there and we can see our repeating pattern uh, so what you'll notice is that it doesn't have a background color currently. Uh, one option for that is you can come to your layers panel um, if you don't actually want to add a um, background to the pattern. You can just create a duplicate of your uh, circle here. So in this case we're just going to copy command or control C and then we are going to paste it behind so command or control B and so we'll access that bottom one and then we'll just change our fill color let's um, choose green to make it a little bit more obvious here um, so that's one way you can add a background um, when you apply a, a pattern to an object is just to create a duplicate object behind with your fill color but you can also add a background to your actual pattern uh, so to do that, let's go ahead and zoom back out and then you can double click on your pattern here. I'm going to zoom back in here so we can see it. And so we see our pattern here. We click on this object and then here in the layers panel we can see our pattern. We see our ellipse tool here. From here we are going to create a, a rectangle. So I'm going to right click, we get our rectangle tool and then just click on the um, artboard here and we'll go 600 pixels by 600 pixels the size of our artboard we'll paste it there grabbing our selection tool you can just uh, position it here on the artboard you see it centered here and then we'll just uh, drag that below our, rec our ellipse tool and then let's go ahead and change that fill color uh, to white. In this case we're dealing with a little bit of an overlap issue so let's click on that rectangle layer here and then we will push it and kind of position it to where it no longer covers our uh, circle here. So now we have a nice uh, repeat like we expect it to. So now that it has a background Let's go ahead and save a copy of this and you can give it a name and click on OK. And then it just gives you this a disclaimer that a new pattern has been added to your swatch panel and any additional changes will be um, modified to the original pattern. So we can just go ahead and click on OK here. So now that we've changed that, we can go ahead and delete this rectangle. So we have back to our original, and then we'll just go ahead and click on done here. So we're going to zoom back out. So I'm going to select this layer. Again, we had our pattern and we had our second um, ellipse that we put behind. So we can go ahead and turn off that layer. We'll select our pattern layer, and then we can just click on that new one. And we see that it now has that uh, background versus before there was no background and then we added a background to our pattern. Just zooming in here. Uh, just to show you one more way, if you click on the pattern, you can also drag it into your document and you'll see a swatch of your pattern. So we can zoom in here. And then what we'll notice here in our layers panel, if we, we see our group here from our pattern, 
it will actually have all of the ellipse components. And then here at the back, what we see is a no fill, no stroke rectangle. And that is how um, Illustrator identifies a pattern. So in this case, you could also drag your pattern swatch here. And then with this rectangle, you can copy it, Command or Control C, and, and then go ahead and paste it behind Command or Control B. And then we'll select this one here. Um, you always want your no fill, no stroke rectangle to be on the bottom of your layers here. And so then we'll just go ahead and add our color. Let's add a red color here as our background for this um, demonstration. And then to save this again as a pattern now with our background layer, we'll, we'll highlight all of those elements there and then just click and drag it into the patterns panel here. So that's just another way to add a background to your polka dot pattern. And once you have created your pattern, you can always uh, delete all these elements because it will be saved within your pattern swatch. So let's go ahead and zoom back out. And then I'm gonna zoom in on our original artboard here. So let's go ahead and select our object again and we'll go to Object, Pattern, Make. This time I'm going to use a grid style tile type. And then let's just go ahead and set our width. Let's try 300 pixels by 300 pixels here. We'll go ahead and click on Move Tile with Art here and then we'll just kind of get it to the center of our artboard here and then we're actually going to go instead of 300 I'm going to go back up to 600 pixels and then we'll center it there and then this time I'm going to um, come in into this layer here to highlight my ellipse we are going to copy this so we're going to go command or control C and then just to paste it in front command or control F and then I'm going to bring it to the corner here. And then let's go ahead and change the color of this uh, circle. So we'll, we'll change it to green. That way we can have a multicolor pattern. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and give it a background. So we'll click on that uh, rectangle tool and then we'll have our 600 pixels by 600 pixels. Clicking on OK. I'm coming to the layers panel. Let's go ahead and position that behind. We'll access our selection tool and then uh, just drag it. In this case, we need to change the color so we can see it. So let's try white. And then we'll just reposition um, our rectangle so it is not overlapping any of our circles. And so now we have our pattern and we can go ahead and click on done. So we'll zoom back out so we can get to our lips here. Selecting it, let's go ahead and select our new pattern here to see our um, two color, multicolor uh, polka dot pattern here. And then if you want to uh, recolor this uh, pattern here, you're gonna go to edit, edit colors, and then recolor artwork. From here we see our three colors and then um, typically when it comes to black and white, it's not automatically set. Uh, so you can just click to add a new um, area for both the black and the white. That way you can change up the colors here. And then you can just double click on the color if you want to select a new color. You can change um, from the colors here just to select something, maybe we try purple and then just click on OK and it will automatically change that color. If we want this black to be something different, let's try maybe a pink color, let's go a little more pink and then we'll click on OK and then again you can do the same thing with your background. Maybe try a light pink and then you can easily change uh, the colors um, of your pattern using the uh, recolor artwork. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a polka dot pattern in Adobe Illustrator. 
If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.